out of all of these ones right now, this is my favorite one because it is a painting. All right, and ooh, okay. So I did not expect this. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to the wonderful world of Mind's Eye. My name is Kevin and on today's episode 169, I'm going to be unboxing four different bare bricks for you guys. I can't wait to do this. Let's get into it. It's time to get unboxed. The first one we're gonna be opening is gonna be Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So this is the 400 and the 100% set. Super nice, it's got the bright red on the box. Man, Raphael, he's gotta be one of my favorite ones. He's just so cool. But he's gotta work on his anger issues, man, Raphael. Okay, so this is the chrome version. Very awesome. So he's got the chrome finish all over his body, even the turtle show. Let's take a look at him. So he's got like the shin pads and everything. And like I said, he does have a chrome finish all over him. It's very reflective. Even the back too. Even the back you can see the turtle shell is also reflective. It reminds me a lot like an emerald. That's my favorite part about this, like the turtle shell because of the green. He's got the R for Raphael on the belt. So as we can see back here, he has his signature weapon the Psy, you know placed in the back of his belt for those of you who don't know the Psy is a very versatile weapon more complicated to use than a katanas so with the brute strength that ralph has and like these two weapons here it, it makes a dangerous combo and if you look at the 100 percent it looks a lot better because the back of the 100 percent is more flat so it doesn't look weird as in like the uh 400 percent so if you look at the difference here, because the back is more flat, right? So the sides actually look a lot better and they look longer too. They look proportionate, unlike the 400%. What do I think about this bear brick? I think it's great. I love the chrome. Put chrome on anything and it'll be a hundred times better. I would rate this 10 out of 10. And of course, Raphael is a very angry turtle. So you can see his face. He's ready to fight anyone that's standing in his way. You don't want to mess with him. All right, time for the second bear break. We got Mickey Mouse, the band concert, 400% and the 100% set. Let's open it. So this is the Mickey Mouse, the band concert bear break. You can see his uniform. Love the red, I love the colors on it. It pops out a lot. A little bit of history here. This bear break is based off of the Mickey Mouse film that was animated in 1935. And it is the first in the series to be animated in color. So as you can see from the color, it's supposed to be faded like an old timey cartoon from 1935. So it's not as bright and popping as it would be. All right, so taking a closer look at the bear brick, like I said earlier, he is wearing the band uniform. It's got like the nice red, yellow, and green colorway, very simplistic. And you can see it like he's got like the little cap on top of his head right there. So it's very cute. I like, I like this costume a lot. And if we look at the 100%, of course it is the same, but there is a slight difference. Uh, the cap on the 100% version is slightly bigger than the cap on the uh, 400 percent that's the only difference that i can see but other than that it is the same of course and it, it, it's super nice i would rate it like a maybe nine out of ten i just wish the colors were a bit brighter on this bear brick and i think it would have been perfect so i'm gonna set this guy right next to Raphael. all right next bear brick bear brick number three so this is a painting by Eugene Delacroix. It, the name of it is called Liberty Leading the People and it is based on the second French Revolution of 1830. Liberty Leading the People is a painting by Eugene Delacroix. It is a personification of freedom and you can see the painting depicts a bunch of people from different classes in life. It is a painting commemorating the second French Revolution of 1830. One more thing I want to point out is is that it is a very progressive painting showing a woman in charge and you know back in those days women weren't really allowed to do many things especially around 1830 so to paint a woman leading the people was another way of showing a progressive society this is a hydro dipped bear brick as you can see with the full art on the box usually when it's full art it's going to be a hydro dipped 
bare brick. And you, you can even see on the back here, uh, it shows that it is hydro dipped. All right, let's get right into opening. All right, so let's take a look at this bare brick. First impressions out of all of these ones right now, this is my favorite one. So what did I mean by it is not 100% hydro dipped? Well, because if you look in the back here, we actually have the name of the artist printed with the French flag on the back. I believe her name is Marianne, uh, this woman right here. Not only is she on like, like the chest of the bare brick, she's also like on the legs, she's on the arms. The hydro dipped aesthetic just adds a lot more chaos to this bare brick here. But yeah, I really like the details on this. And of course it is a painting, so it's got a lot of detail, right? And if you look in the back here, of course, it shows the artist's name on top of the French flag right here. Super nice, I like it. And of course we have the name of the museum on the bottom of the legs. So there's a lot happening in this painting. I do recommend to, you know, take a look at the painting uh, yourself, observe it. I think it translated pretty well onto this bare brick because it's just super clean. It is a very clean piece. So basically each part of the bare brick is going to show different parts of the painting because it is hydro dipped. If I look in the back here, we can see like some dude's corpse in the back of the bare brick's leg and you can see Marianne on the front of the leg. So very chaotic and it's, it's just super nice. I like, I like how each part of the bare brick is like a different part of the painting. All right, let's take a look at the 100%. And because it is a hydro dipped bare brick, it's going to look different from the 400. On the 400, Marianne's on the right side of the leg, but on the 100%, she's on the left side of the leg. It is time to unbox the last bare brick for today's video. So if you don't know much about the Rolling Stones, Love You Live is an album that was released in 1977. And it is also dedicated to audio engineer Keith Harwood, who unfortunately passed away before the release of the album. The album was a major hit that placed number three in the UK and placed number five in the US. All right, time for the last bear brick, the final one, bear brick number four. We got the Rolling Stones Love You Live in collaboration with Andy Warhol. So this is the 400 and 100% set. Uh, so it's got a full art on the box. So I'm gonna assume it's hydro dipped. It has to be. So yeah, let's get to opening it. First impressions already. I think I'm gonna love this one a lot because the colors, it's very bright. It's got a lot of different colors going on. So yeah, can't wait to open this. Let's get started here. All right, and ooh, okay. So I did not expect this. This is a lot better than I expected. Wow, this one has a nice glossy finish. It makes it look a lot brighter than what the box was showing. The box is matte. I didn't think this would be this bright, but it's got a bunch of nice colors going on here. It is super nice. Wow, this is the album cover on a hydro dip, a bare brick. This is just super nice. The colors are just amazing. It pops out so much. And on the 100% too. So the 100% of course, it's going to look different because it's hydro dipped. So even the text. So as you guys can see, this bare brick has a bunch of text on it. It's got, it says side one, two, side three, and side four. It's the list of the songs that are on the album. And on the 100%, because it is such a smaller bare brick, the words are very more compact, but it's still like, I wouldn't say readable on the 100%, but it's still, like it's not smudge or anything. It's still like kind of crisp in a way, but yeah. If I were to choose my favorite one now, this one's definitely my favorite one out of the four, right? Like the pink, the, the orange, the green, it is fantastic. Actually, there is a difference between the 400 and the 100%. If you look at the back of the 100%, it says Andy Warhol on the back of the 100, but if you look at the back of the 400%, it doesn't say Andy Warhol anywhere. I don't even think it says Andy Warhol anywhere on the um, 400. Oh, it says it right here. So the bottom of the feet, it says Andy Warhol and on the 100%, they moved it to the, to the back. So there is a difference there. I would rate this 
uh, 100,000 out of 10. Uh, this uh, Love You Live album, Bear Brick by the Rolling Stones. I love this one so much. Put in the comments below what your favorite Bear Brick that I unboxed today. I would love to hear your thoughts. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. My favorite one out of the four, like I said, is gonna be the Rolling Stones Bear Brick. I want to know your favorite one. Which Bear Brick is your favorite Bear Brick? Leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more greatness in the future. So thank you for watching this video, making it throughout the end, and I'll see See you guys on the next episode of Unboxed. Alright, peace out.